This is your machine shop instructor Ed here, and I'm actually doing a little work on my laptop. I'm working on a Dell Inspiron 15, which I bought in 2015. Uh, only has 8 megabyte of RAM and no graphics card, but I have Fusion running right now. Uh, like this bench here, I drew up a bench the other day because I wanted the construction guys to uh, make a bench. And uh, it seems to work okay in this thing here. I'm going to go over here and uh, look at the Titan projects, like the 1M, the famous 1M. I'm going to pull this one in. I'm going to close out the bench. And there's everything right there. There's the design. Let me go to design right here. Design. I'll go to manufacture. And I'm going to run uh, simulation on this side. See how this works. Simulate. To turn the stock on and toolpath off and rewind. Okay, rewind and play. So, even if you haven't got the best computer in the world, you can still learn CAD CAM on uh, not quite the equipment that they prefer you to use, but uh, it seems to work just fine. Let's I probably wouldn't run SolidWorks on something like this. I think I tried to install Inventor once. But this seems to work, and if I want to spit out some code, I'm using, uh, let me go to my setup here. That's scanning post. So I, I prefer to use the cloud post so I don't have this delay. Besides, I'm only using a couple anyway. Uh, let's, go, let's go to my cloud, only as Haas, only, and there's our school hit post, and usually saving to our USB, but saving it to the computer right now, and it should pop up the other file here, and I actually modified the post processor so it had our school name and a timestamp here and I kind of reduce the uh, the data on the uh, tooling and I kept the feed rate at 400 inches a minute because the TM1P Haas that we have uh, can't run 500 inches a minute you get some warning codes but that's very usable right there even this little old computer here uh, I'm also going to venture into Okay, I'm also powering up my Mastercam 2020 HLE that I installed on my laptop. Um, but, this is very a little more finicky on the graphics card side. Um, right now, let me answer that question and see if that will get this to load. Uh, right here, it says... The minimum system requirement has not been met. Master Kim cannot use the great GPU for computations. Uh, don't show. Okay, I'm going to click the green box and see if it still loads. Notice I'm running the Autodesk screencast up here. This is a great tool to uh, capture and send stuff to people. Now, if you see it hung up like this, I've learned that uh, in previous, even other full versions of Mastercam, you had to change the configuration file. I am going to, if it gets hung up like this, I'm going, whoa, there it goes. Well, maybe I have it set already. Okay, so Mastercam is loaded. So let me go. Let me go back to the 
settings file, or it's called advanced configuration. Let's see if I can reduce this window. Or we're on a slower computer here, so it's not as responsive. And I probably have too many things open. Alt tab. And we go to the fusion. I'm going to close the fusion down. Alt tab and. Alright. I want to reduce window. Come on, Fusion, you can uh, close up. Configuration. Under User Interface Toolpath Support. Components. No, that's not it. Properties. User Interface Toolpath Support. Support Components. Reset. There's a setting in here for graphic interface. It used to be on the other versions. Yeah, it's configuration. You had to turn off the uh, acceleration. Um, oh yeah, here it is right here. Graphic support. So here, this the 2019. You had to disable the hardware acceleration here. So. It looks like big. Yeah, it doesn't have that. It just gives you that warning symbol. Okay. Oh. Alright, so the other day I was pulling in some files. I got them on my uh, USB. See if everything works. Go to my USB. Titan Mastercam parts. These are everything I dragged over. His uh, got a CAD HLE cam on the 28th. I'm going to open this file up. And works just fine. I just all I did was draw the block, and because I have the laptop, I'm trying to save space, so I have. I, I, you can leave these pinned out, or you can make them so they just pop out as needed. Because uh, the laptop hasn't got as big a screen. All right, let's uh, try another file here. Open computer parts. Um. Let's see. Oh, this is with the full cam. One I had previously programmed before Titan did his tutorial. Alright. We expand the toolpath here. And everything's there. Everything's there. So I turn up machine group one. And yep, all folders are highlighted that would be all toolpaths and this is now upside down so view sheet there we go view sheet one was op op one from the top let me let this pop out again a little sluggish but not bad um, I can go up to here do the back plot Press, uh, whoop, press the play button right here. And it seems to work just fine. There are other uh, things you can turn on here, like that and this thing. I would just leave it pretty simple. Uh, maybe even take the holder out of the picture. Just have the tool only. Yeah, it works just fine like that. Let's go to full verification, which is Mastercam simulation with a piece of material. Okay, takes a little while for the graphics to catch up. And uh, there are other settings in here you can use, like color loop. You can tell by the color of this here how long each operation takes. Plus, you can see if they're different, there's a time signature on the right here. So, press play, and everything works just fine. And uh, and a not, not recommended computer, but uh, with no graphics card, and it seems to work just fine. If I go into toolpaths.
Let me go up to my files. Right here it says post none because there's no post processing allowed in this version. But if we bring it to the school, uh, as I showed before, we can, or you're, you're at your job that has full master cam, you can run that. Just remember though, if you're in 2020 and their version is 2017, it's not going to work. It doesn't back plot. It's, that is true of every single CAD and CAM system out there. You can be running Surf Cam, Bobcat, any of them. You can't uh, open up newer files on older stuff. So for training in 2020, you got to be using 2020 in the place that has the equipment. Make sure it's upgraded. Nope, let me just hit the fit button. Yeah, not, not too bad. I mean, it's, it's doable. So, I just wanted to even... So I was curious myself if this would work on my uh, my laptop, which is, uh, let me go into my, right, it says right up here, I have Windows 10, Intel i5 2.2 with 8 gigs of RAM and Intel onboard graphics, which is the cheapo, this is a cheapo laptop right here. I think it cost me under 500 bucks uh, four years ago. I wasn't using this laptop to do programming in, but uh, it's plot. Mastercam demo. And uh, I wonder if I could show you some stuff while I was here. Uh, this thing I have set up for two operations, so right now it's in upside down mode, and I've been uh, trying to learn how to save the views. Uh, Fusion can do the same thing. You can actually save views that are not aligned with the uh, standard views. Because if I hit top right now, it's top view of the active plane. And I'm in, right now my active plane is bottom. So G is graphics view. And this is construction and tool plane and work coordinate system. So now these are your basics and then you can add on more. So I added on an op 2 and I'm using work offset 2 for that one. So now this is top view of the top plane if I can we can kind of get that so you got a graphics view and you have a work coordinate view it's like two different ways because if you need to work on the back it's better off just to rotate the model and then you're always associated to the model uh, a long time ago we even in our programming days we weren't doing that we were just doing wireframe sketches and laying them out and Sometimes we get disassociated. So the so that's the really plus about the solid world. You can uh, you're always associated to the solid object, not a bunch of lines. So, but learning how to associate to it. So in this one case, I'm using uh, the Opti Rough, like uh, Titan was. I took a good guess. He he did it. Actually, I learned some uh, techniques there about putting surface model up front. But uh, pretty much we're, we're in, pretty much in line, you know. Uh, the yellow lines are rapid and the blue are cutting.